hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video you are coming shopping with me with what's happening now with inflation food prices are going up drastically and this is happening worldwide in this video i'm going to help you make most of your money in these difficult times i'll be telling you different ways to cut the cost of your food bill and how you can reduce the price of your weekly grocery spend so make sure you watch this video to the very end to get as much as you can the first supermarket we are going to is costco this leads me to my number one tip on how you can cut the cost of your food bill my number one tip is bulk buying i come to costco sometimes when i want to buy things in bulk if you don't have costco where you live look for other wholesalers or bulk buying specialists you can get better deals and save money from this kind of bulk buying stores when money is tight start with buying long shelf life items things that can last longer items like pasta oats tea bags beans peanut butter canned vegetables nuts and many more are good to buy buying in bulk or in a big pack most of the time work out a lot cheaper than the smaller packs but always check so guys you can literally get your tea tea bags is a big saver if you're a tea drinker this is it buy your stuff in bulk look 1100 tea bags in this and it's only for 14 pounds 39 all right if you don't like tesla you can go for pgs guys look at this look at how much tea you're gonna get four packs one two three four in each pack you have 240 tea bags so you can imagine how long this is gonna last you for and it's only for 13 pounds 49 this is a good savings for anyone that loves to drink tea in the supermarket is four pound 80 for a pack of 240 tea bags times it by four is 19 pounds 20. if you buy it in bulk you have a savings of five pounds 31. so yeah it's very good to buy something in bulk let's have a look at this nutella right here guys look at this 950 grams big size of nutella and it's for four pounds 99 you guys no vat added so you can compare how much it is to um to buy things in bulk and how much savings is going to give you so let's have a look at this jam you guys i eat jam 750 grams of jam and it's only for three pound 39 this is some peanut butter 1.13 kilograms and it's for six pound 29 look at the size of this you guys this will last you for a long time this is why i like to come to costco these are quite expensive i know i think each of these is like I think it's like 4 dollars I'm going to double check for you guys. Three of these for £7.49. This organic honey in the supermarket is £3.50 each. Times it by three is £10.50. So you'll be having a saving of £3.01. You have your Manuka honey. Guys, you know this is very expensive. Just to buy Manuka honey in Holland and Barras, you'll be spending over £20. So this is good. And it's a good size and it's only for $16.99. And you've got a big tub of honey for $5.99. If you want the big size of the first one I've just showed you guys, it's only $5.99. 1.36 kg of honey. Okay guys, you know the problem we are having right now with the war and everything. And the price of oil is so expensive you guys so it's better to buy your oil somewhere like this where you can get a bargain because when you go to the normal supermarket i can guarantee you that it's definitely more expensive than here let me show you guys we have the normal vegetable oil is 8.99 in the supermarket is 10 pounds and 50 pence and you'll be saving one pound and 51 pence and that is for five liter of oil this is extra virgin oil six of these for 16.99 each bottle of this olive oil is five pounds in a supermarket times it by six that is 30 pounds you are saving 13 pounds and one pence this is crazy it's expensive now it's definitely gone up but you can save a lot of money buying this oil this way compare your prices i definitely think buying it this way is a lot cheaper in stores like this than normal supermarkets <sighs> oh my god i can't even lift it <laughs> this is so heavy wow right so we've got some salt oh my god 
6 kg this salt is massive you can imagine how long this would last you for so guys this has some spices ginger paprika thyme turmeric buy your spices in large quantity okay and stock up different brands it doesn't matter what brand it is just stock up on big size spices it's gonna last you for a long time and it's gonna go a long long way and again you're getting it a lot cheaper another thing you guys can stock up on is baked beans look at the amount that you're going to get there's 24 in a pack and it's only for 13 pound 19 you guys it's a lot cheaper compared to buying it individually oh my god you guys to buy these baked beans individually would cost you one pound and 20 pence times it by 24 that is 28 pounds and 80 pence guys you literally be saving if you buy this in bulk you'll be saving 15 pounds and 61 pence wow that is Hens. It's another brand. To be honest, you guys, it doesn't really matter the brand at this point because of the, the way money is at the moment. This means it's £9.99. Over here, we've got our oats. We've got some oats right here, 60 sachets. Again, I think this is a good value for your money. And it's only for £5.99, you guys. Compare this to a supermarket you're definitely saving money buying it this way this one is for the oats lovers in bulk is 60 sachets for 5.99 and when i went to the supermarket only 22 sachets of oats is four pounds do the maths guys my number two tip on how you can cut the cost of your food bill is to avoid ready prepared fruits and vegetables if you go to the supermarket you will see food items that are pre-prepared or ready prepared for you this can be ready sliced fruits chopped vegetables boiled in the bag rice or pre-cooked chicken don't fall in the trap to buy these items because they are always much expensive not only are you paying for the item you are also paying for someone that prepared them and also the packaging instead buy them as a whole prep them yourself this way is cheaper or if you prefer pre-prepared then go to the frozen ones and again it's cheaper and will last you longer this is the pineapple and it's for one pound. Come this way, let me show you what I mean. This is the ready-made fruit, all ready for you to eat. And guess how much this is, you guys? This is two pound 25p. It's just been brought down, reduced to two pound. Compare this, how much pineapple you're going to get in this if you prepare it yourself. So basically you're gonna be saving at least one pound and you're gonna definitely get more pineapples in this. The same thing goes to all the fruits. You've got your watermelon, you have a whole watermelon right here in that big watermelon in the fresh one you're definitely gonna get at least three of these packs and again for two pound 25 even with salads the same thing all ready made all packed for you with salads buy your cabbage buy your lettuce all raw as a whole like i said to you guys you're basically paying for the person that has prepared it as well as the packaging my number three tip of how you can cut the cost of your food bill is to start freezing to save money if you're not already you need to start freezing items instead of letting them spoil and then chucking them in the bin did you know that figures have shown that uk households throw away 9.5 5 million tons of food each year and could have saved over 60 pounds a month just by reducing the amount of food that is going to the bin people throw away mostly fruits and vegetables i'm guilty of this and i'm pretty sure a lot of us are guilty of this too so the best and easy way to reduce this food waste and save you some money is to freeze them for the future you can use them for smoothies or in your meal recipes or in any batch cooking that you're doing in future also if you buy fresh items on discounted prices like fresh fish for example you can freeze it to use another day fresh ginger fresh garlic onions you can also prep and freeze them another thing that you guys may not know i only just recently found out about this to 
reduce your food waste almost everything has a date on it so it's either it has a best before date or it has a use by date or it has no date at all so i'm going to show you guys the difference we have best before days so it's gonna say best before date. A lot of us get this wrong. We chuck things away because it says best before. Best before is basically like the manufacturer's opinion on when the product has its own strength. It's best before to eat this before this date for you. It's not by the time you get to the date, you chuck it in the bin. If it's still okay to eat, you can just eat it, okay? Don't chuck it away, put it in the freezer and freeze it. What I'm trying to say here, you guys, is to avoid throwing away best before date items. These food items are still perfectly edible after that date. And the next one we have used by dates, okay? If you can see right here, it says used by the 10th of October. The used by is usually what is in your fridge. Usually your dairy, like your yogurt, your milk, your butter, your cheese. Things that you put in the fridge basically has a used by date. And that one, yes, you have to literally get rid of it if you don't use it by that date, okay? So you need to use it and eat it or cook it by this used by date. What I'm trying to say here, you guys, is that you need to throw away these food items by the use by date it's best to buy them in small quantities to save money some food items actually has no date like this one says no date and what it says is it helps reduce waste i've noticed in some items that there's no date on it so it's up to you guys to have a sniff test taste it and if you think that the food item has lost its taste lost its flavor or texture and then that's when you should throw it away but if it hasn't then you keep it and eat it or freeze it not everything that you chuck in the bin so with this one where food items has no date sometimes you may find that the food items has lost its flavor or texture it's then up to you to decide what you want to do with it okay guys so that's my third tip on how you can cut the cost of your food bill if i'm providing value so far and if you're liking this video please give me a big thumbs up okay like this video and subscribe if you haven't already okay i'm just gonna quickly breeze through it and tell you guys about more tips on how you can cut down your cost of your food bill so my number four tip on how you can cut down your food bill is by shopping around you guys many of you might think it's time consuming but the best thing is for you to shop around and the first thing to do is to make a list make a shopping list before you go anywhere because the tendency of you choosing Throwing in things that you don't need is there. Start a list. It's very important that you make a list first before heading to the shop. So what I mean by shopping around is basically just going to different shops. Look around locally. Okay, go to your local shop, get your local market. Trust me, you guys, you definitely be saving a lot and you definitely find things that's a lot cheaper. I go to my local market and I get lots of fruits and vegetables a lot cheaper. And also I go to my local African stores. I get things like like meat a lot cheaper fish you know a lot of things that you can get a lot cheaper than the supermarket so yeah definitely shop around locally as well as going into the supermarket okay right so my number five tip is to meal prep what i mean by meal prep i mean you have to cook everything in batch and pop it into the freezer number one is gonna save you some time as in in terms of you're, you're just going to enjoy some cooking free days you don't need to cook in some days and number two is going to save you money on gas and electricity so just cooking batch put them in little containers put it into the freezer it's going to save you a lot when you do it this way my number six tip is to start shopping online some of us do that some of us don't i don't it's a new thing i'm starting to do now with everything that's going on i'm shopping online some stores have this kind and offers online especially with deliveries you guys i think with iceland you have to spend maybe like 30 pounds minimum and you get a free same day delivery with iceland and that can save you a lot on petrol you going for shopping driving going with your car so you can save your lot on petrol and also you can save you a lot of money i know some of us may also take the taxi cabs going shopping and coming back some people that i know actually do that so that would save you a lot of money 
spending money on taxi and spending money on cars and also spending money on your petrol with the petrol price is really really high so it's going to save you a lot of money on petrol look at online for offers for the stores that are doing free deliveries okay so my number seven tip on how you can cut the cost of your food bill is by doing brand swaps you will save a lot of money just by swapping to store brands on some items okay for example in Lidu with baked beans guys it's not only that the baked beans has proper flavor which is very very surprising you would also be saving a big chunk okay so Lidu's beans is 32p 32 pence the hens beans is one pound and 20 pence so if you go for the Lidu's beans you'll be saving a whopping 88 you see what I mean you guys you'll be saving so much money on just by swapping the brand name it's just a brand name and some products are almost the same I love my hands there's some items I can't really swap like the hands ketchup I love the hands ketchup even salad cream from Lidl you've got the hands salad cream and then you swap it for the Lidl salad cream it, it tastes almost the same even with the beans you guys if you have a lot of mouth to feed like a big family or, or with children it it tastes almost the same and they'll get used to it very very quickly all right we just have to learn how to adjust and you know save ourselves some money in this difficult time so guys my last and final tip which is number eight tip for how to cut the cost of your food bill is by having a supermarket loyalty card having a supermarket loyalty card can be worth joining right now especially now that petrol prices are high you will get something back they're worth joining as well for the rewards when you shop when you do your food shopping i've got a morrison one right here morrison more this is the barcode you scan the barcode so you just basically collect points especially when you buy petrol as well you collect the points for the petrol other stores have it sainsbury's has a nectar for tesco is a tesco club card for asda and lidu is an app asda reward app and the lidu plus app mns is mns sparks card and then you have co-op and then you have waitrose all these stores have their own loyalty schemes to either save you money or to reward you for something or some cashback offers you whatever you like to shop find out their loyalty clubs what they have on offer i did this video on stores that are in the uk so you've got costco in the us i'm not sure about other countries but stores like morrison sainsbury's lee do uh, the co-op waitress they all based in the uk i'm not sure i think there's audi in the us as well so yeah please do your research and try and implement everything i've said in this video to save you a lot of money in any way all over in the whole world if you do it this way you will definitely save you some money which is why i decided to do this video for everyone in a difficult times okay so yeah that's it you guys that's it for today thank you again for watching to the very end and i will definitely see you in the next one bye